Well, 48 hours of ice fishing on Lake Superior begins right now. Well, it is just a stunningly beautiful sunset on the shoreline of Lake Superior this evening. The wind is calm and it's just absolutely a picture perfect winter evening here on the ice. But now guys, the work begins and we're gonna start jigging for some burbot. Okay guys, we are settled in our shack and we're gonna start jigging for some burbot here this evening. What we're gonna be running for some bait is we're gonna be tipping our jigs with some smelt. This is just some dead smelt that my buddy Chris hooked me up with. And uh, we're gonna be using some moonshine jigging spoons here. Oh, look at that thing glowing. Look at that thing glowing guys. Those moonshines are insane. Well, darkness is settling in guys and we're just about to get our green light down there we're going to drop this light down about 10 15 feet below the ice and in theory that's going to attract all the bait fish and all the insects into the light and the smelt and predator fish will come in after them yeah. all right guys we're going down with them we're going down with them guys i think there's already fish by this thing i'm pretty sure i just saw some smell already swimming by this light Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be something else just to see a pot of cohos just come crashing through this light? No. That would be insane. Got one? No, I missed. Well, rumor has it we're not in a good burbot spot. We've been jigging for burbot for a couple hours and haven't had any success, haven't had a single bite. But that's not going to stop us from getting some brats on the grill here in a minute. We'll probably start here first thing tomorrow morning in hopes that some coho or some splate come through in this shallow water. And then once the sun comes up, we'll go out deeper and fish probably 70, 80, somewhere in there. But we'll see how the morning plays out. We're going to get some dinner, get some sleep, and uh, hopefully hit some fish in the morning. Alrighty guys, we are all set up here. We're getting our sleeping stuff together. I got my cot right here. I'm gonna keep my stash of rods right there just in case I need to whip down and catch a midnight burbot. We got our light down there, but we haven't seen any fish come into the light yet, but life is good guys. We got our camp set up and we'll come out here. We're gonna get some brats going on the grill here. We got the grill heating up. Yeah, buddy. How to cook brats when it's negative five outside. You can barely get them out of the pack because the brats are froze solid. <laughs> Guys, this is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. The northern lights are so bright right now, and this is the best I've ever seen them. I've seen them very faint in the past, but this is absolutely amazing. They are so bright. Check out this shot on my phone real quick. We're gonna get the big camera out here and see if we can get a cool time lapse of them. All 
absolutely amazing. One of the coolest experiences. I have the chills right now. I've wanted to see these lights my entire life like this. Like I said, I've seen them faintly in the past, but this is unbelievable. It's honestly just the coolest experience. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm speechless. We'll check out our setup here guys i got my gloves my socks sweatshirts and pants coats drying up here in the top they're all going to be nice and dry first thing tomorrow morning then we have our heater over here we got our vents cracked up in the top too we always make sure to crack our vents up in the top that way we have some airflow coming through then we come down here and casey what's going on over here bud got a beer got the dead stick going hoping for a burp to come by I don't think uh, I don't think it gets a whole lot better than that, guys. I'm gonna do some jigging too for probably the last hour or so. But what an incredible experience this has been! Those northern lights were just unbelievable. I really can't wait to get back and look at the footage from the big camera. I'm sure you guys just saw it, but I'm so excited to see it on a computer. All right, <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna start jigging, baby. We're dropping down the moonshine jigging spoon. See what happens this morning. Dude, we're definitely not far from some serious pack ice. I don't see anybody else out here, dude. <laughs> I got bit. I got bit. I think I got something small. Sure. What a smell! Oh my gosh, look at this smell, guys. That is a giant smell on a jigging spoon. Giant smell on the moonshine jigging spoon, tipped with a smelt head. That is unbelievable. Holy cow. That's a pretty good sized smelt. First fish on the ice of this trip, a beautiful Lake Superior smelt. Well guys, we haven't marked any fish today that we thought have been salmon or trout. So we're kind of switching gears. We've been marking some big pods of bait fish, which we assume are smelt. And we know actually that they're smelt because we caught two of them on big jigging spoons. But now we're just gonna switch up. We're gonna change gears and we're gonna see if we can get a bunch of smelt. We would love to have a fresh smelt fry out here on the ice tonight, no doubt. So if we can get some smelt, that would be awesome. Well, we are starting to pick away at a few smelt and the snow is coming down, guys. Wow, look at this. It is a winter wonderland out here. Holy cow, is it snowing hard. Well, how beautiful is this? We went from seeing the brilliant northern lights last night to just an absolute winter storm. We've got about six inches of fresh snow in the last two or three hours, and it's just supposed to keep up all throughout the night. We could wake up with a foot or more of fresh snow tomorrow morning. I am just getting pelted in the face with snow right now, but we started to catch a few smelt in the shack, guys. Oh! I think Casey's got another one. We started to catch a few smelt in the shack, guys. So if all keeps going well, we're gonna have an awesome fish fry out here on the ice tonight. We have a big school of fish coming in on the Vexilar right now. I got one. <laughs> I got one, guys. I got one. I can see it coming up on the Vexilar. I got one. It's either a smelt or a small perch. Smelt on the Haley jig, guys. Nice. This a little XXS chrome. You guys see how I hold this fish here? This is a time when you need the fish fingers right here, guys. Could you imagine yeah. the fish fingers pose with this fish? You could just hold it out, dude, and be like, oh my gosh, look at this tarpon through the ice, dude. <laughs> Got him. It is so much fun catching these smelt, guys. It is a blast, especially on this light rod. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, buddy. That one was on the Haley jig that time, guys. We are marking just an absolute pile of fish down there they keep coming in and out so hopefully we'll be able to keep catching them all throughout the night i'm really excited to see if that green light makes a difference tonight got one got one guys this smell fishing is getting red hot baby we've been smoking them let's see what we got here he's coming up he's coming up 
Beautiful smell, guys. Beautiful smell. That is so cool. Look at that little Cromer, baby. He's going to be absolutely delicious. All I'm running here, guys, is a small Haley jig tipped with one wax worm. Gosh, that is so awesome. Just beautiful little fish. They're going to be absolutely delicious. We're working on a pile over there, guys. We're working on a pile. Stack up and bury it. Oh, they're there now. Oh, my gosh. We're marking so many fish right now, guys. The Vexlar is lit up with smell just right on the bottom. They've been moving up and down in the water column. Sometimes they'll be down towards the bottom, but sometimes they'll be just 15 feet below the ice. So we've just been marking them on our Vexlar here and we can see how deep they are down. Okay guys, well we're gonna get our smelt cleaned up here. All I'm gonna do is cut the head off and gut these smelt and uh, we're gonna fry them up whole just like that. So real simple to clean, just pop the head right off them, gut them, and uh, that's all it takes to have some smelt. Just a nice, crunchy, crispy fish. You cannot beat a fresh smelt fry. It's been a long time since I've had one of these and I forgot how good it really was. Look at that nice, crispy potato chip of a tail. It's so crunchy, so crispy, and so delicious. I think I'm just gonna sit here in my tent and just eat smelt all night. I'll keep catching them, keep frying them, keep the batches going, baby. Leave smelt saved our butts today if we didn't have these smelt i have a feeling we would have been flirting with a skunk because we didn't mark a single fish all day that we thought was a salmon or trout and we didn't even catch any burbot last night i don't know where the heck our burbs are but we fished for them all night long and didn't catch a single burbot so tomorrow morning i think what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna move this shack the weather's supposed to let up a little bit overnight so we're gonna get up bright and early and move this shack to a different location and hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to find some salmon or trout species but you know what right about now i'm not complaining about having a whole bunch of smell to eat Oh my gosh, did that just get hit? Guys, am I, guys, am I dreaming? <laughs> or did that just get a bite? I swear I just saw that rot tip bounce. The line's taut. If it bounces one more time, I'm gonna get him. Got him, guys. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Oh, it's a burb! It's a burb! <laughs> we, got, we got a burb, guys. We got a burb right after midnight, and we got a burbot. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. I literally thought I was dreaming. I was just about to fall asleep. I looked over, saw my rod getting bounced, and we caught a burbot, guys.
what a crazy adventure this has been. We arrived on a beautiful afternoon, camped all through an intense winter storm, and now it's just an absolutely gorgeous morning. I have such a hard time getting to sleep when I'm camping out on trips like this just because I get so amped up, I can't fall asleep. But I did end up getting a few hours of sleep last night, and we're just about to start fishing now, guys, this morning. Fish on guys, fish on the slip bobber baby. We just started marking some fish. I don't know what the heck this is. No idea what this is, it's not very big though. Oh, it's a perch, it's a perch. It's a perch, it's a keeper perch too. Nice. He's a squeak keeper, but he's a keeper, we'll keep him. That looks like a nicer fish case. That's a meat stick too. Oh, oh that's a keeper. Well guys, all we're using to catch these perch, and this is a great way to catch perch anywhere, is this small Haley jig. We're using gold and silver, and you can see the bead chain down to a small gold hook with a little bead on there, and that bead glows. This works really well for smelt too. This is exactly what we were catching our smelt on last night, and we're just tipping it with one waxworm, and we're dropping it down to the depth, and just lightly jigging it, just moving it a little bit. There he is. There he is, baby. Perch on. We're getting some perch, guys. We got a nice pile of perch going on in the corner over there. Haven't caught any big ones yet, but just nice little keepers, about seven to nine inches, I would say. A lot of small ones, though, for sure. Little guy, just a little guy here. That's okay. Well, the day got off to a hot start. We were catching perch consistently, getting tons of bites, but it has since turned to the Dead Sea. We haven't had a bite in probably the last half hour, hour or so. It's about one o'clock right now, so we still have a few more good hours till dark. And if all goes well, we might even sneak out and fish a little bourbon before we leave. Well, I'll tell you what, it wasn't a very good day to forget my sunglasses. It is so bright out here. It really couldn't be a more beautiful winter day. The wind's not blowing. It's about 40 degrees, and it's a perfect day to come sit out on the ice, do a little hole hopping, and that's exactly what we're going to do here this afternoon, guys, to close up our trip. Well, I gotta say guys, I definitely wasn't expecting to catch either smelt or perch on this trip. My goal of coming on this trip was to find some salmon or trout or burbot through the ice, but I gotta say, it has been an absolute blast catching these perch today. Even though we haven't been catching any big fish, we've caught some beautiful, nice eaters that are gonna be absolutely delicious in the frying pan. That's just what I love about coming out and fishing this body of water, fishing any of the Great Lakes, is you never know what you're gonna catch. I mean, there are so many different species and you never know what school of fish is gonna be on these drop-offs this time of year. You know, one thing that I've noticed today, guys, is that the school of perch has been very, very skittish. And this is another monster, as you can see. We could almost put him on a tip-up. It seems like every time I've dropped a jigging spoon down near the bottom, the school perch just scatters. And it's really hard to get that school to come back into the holes. So this afternoon, guys, I've just been keeping it really stealthy. I have a slip bobber right on my right with a live minnow here that's aimed for a splake, a trout, a perch, who knows? And then on my left here, I'm just jigging this one Haley jig. I didn't drop my big cast master down or one of my moonshine jigging spoons just because I haven't been marking any fish that I think are trout. And it was messing up my perch bite, so I decided to just uh, fire the cast master tonight, and we're just gonna finish the afternoon, see if we can knock down a few more perch and enjoy this beautiful winter evening. This one might. Another keeper, guys, another keeper. 
We are marking so many fish down here, guys. It is unbelievable how many perch are out here. A lot of small perch, but there's gotta be some nice ones around somewhere. Fish, guys we got a white fish oh my gosh right at dark it's actually a menominee i'm pretty sure guys right at dark we got a menominee that's the fourth species of this trip we've got smelt perch burbot and now menominee on lake superior on just a beautiful sunset oh my gosh that was something decent that was something decent guys oh my gosh I still got a waxy on there. That was definitely something decent though. A nice perch or a white fish. Oh, I just got bit. Oh, got him guys, got him. That thing train wrecked it. Oh my gosh, did that perch hit it hard. Nice perch, another nice keeper perch. And you know what guys, that finishes out my 25 perch. That is my limit. It's a nice seven, eight incher. Didn't catch any monsters guys, but we got four species out here today. We caught smelt, we caught burbot, we caught menominee, and to top it off, I was able to get my limit of nice keeper perch tonight. I could not be more thankful. Although we didn't catch any salmon or trout species on this trip, I can't complain with some fresh smelt and some fresh perch. Guys, thanks so much for coming along with us on this adventure. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to go down below here and hit that thumbs up button for us. We really appreciate your support, and also love to hear from you if you feel like leaving us a comment. But without further ado, I'm gonna get my uh, evening workout in here, and we're gonna start walking back to the truck. We'll see you guys back here in our next episode. Mm -hmm.